Hello everyone. I want to come to you today with a quick video on how I laminate my Uno Rules cards. I use the Scott single side self seal and laminate sheet I got from Walmart. I think they're like um, $7.99. It's under $10. You get 10 sheets in here. So I'm going to use these um, to laminate these cards that I put in my Uno game. So if you'd like to see this, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. Uh, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get two sheets of the lamination, laminating sheets, which I already did. And I'm going to kill one bird is that how you say it? One bird and two stones? How you say? It? Okay, two bones. I mean, two birds and one stone. Two bones with one stone. Two birds with one stone. Okay, I got it right, y'all. I had a little help right there, but it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, I like to be ahead of the game and already have my things already. So if someone want to place an order. I just go ahead, get them out my little storage box, and just box it up. I don't do too many. I don't want to get out of hand and do too many, but I get them ready. So I'm just going to lay them on my table like this. And remember to subscribe, like, and com leave a comment if you want to see more videos. But I'm just trying to show you how I do mine. To be ahead of the game. When someone. Because man. I had so many calling me. Over the weekend. And I was like okay. But I had to come and laminate everything. But I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So I won't have to. Uh, do it as someone ordered. They'll be already ready. And I just put them in my little box. And send them on out. So I get these all ready like this. Yeah, subscribe and like my channel if you like it. Leave a comment if you want to see more videos. But I'm just trying to show you what I learned to help me out. And remember to space these some because you don't want them too close because you got to cut them individually. So I hope that's good. Then it's a little bitty... Let me show you with this one. So right here, it says remove this top strip first. So you just bend this down and remove this first. But I'm put this to the side because this is going to be the back. I just showed you that one because I had already removed my strip right there. So if I lay mine down, uh-oh. I'm doing this by eye, so... Making sure they're not too close to each other. So when I get ready to cut it. And you, you also could like tape them to the table. I guess. I didn't try it like that. I'm just doing it my way. So I'm going to start from this end. And I just tape that part. that was. I took the little strip and taped it to my table. Then you just pull this. I'm just pulling mine all the way off. And you just start laying it down. Like I said, this is just how I do mine. Uh, make sure you got no bubbles, no wrinkles. which I got a little, so I'm going to try to get it out. A little right there. I'm going to try. Okay. One thing about it, y'all. Y'all try your best not to get wrinkled. Because we start lifting it up, it's going to start tearing the paper. So we're learning this as I go. This is my first time doing it like this, so, Yeah. 
Well, these six are good, but these two, I got a little wrinkle in there. But like I said, we learning as I go. So you would know not to do this. And it's okay, because I could just lay it back down. If it don't line up, I just messed up too. But at least I know on my first try what I did wrong. And you would know not to do it this way. You know that you can't lift this back over the paper. You can't lift the laminate up off the, your project when you got the wrinkles right there. So these two, well, this one, okay. But this one right here, I couldn't lift. It's really start messing up. So. Then you just lift it up. And it come up off the table. And turn it. Press it down. And then you get your other one. Like I said, you tear this off. Tear that off. And you line it up. Press your finger across there. And take it back. And start rolling with your hand like this. A little bit of time, y'all. Be easy. There. And press. And it'll seal itself. Unless you go get the machine, but if you ain't got the machine, you're good. You can just do that. Press it down. There. Then I get my little cutter. I got a little hand little cutter. You can do it this way or you can cut it by hand. I'm just going to do it this way for right now. Put it under there. Make sure you're leaving room for the lamb because you don't want to cut to the far end like right there. And then right there. Just, it's a line, a guideline in here, so I'm just going with it. And that's it, y'all. That's how I do my little cards that I add to my Uno game. Drunken Uno game. Then you can just take this and go ahead and do this too. But then I, I fix, I go... And take my scissors and I just cut around little corners. Hope y'all can see that. Give it a little shape to it. And that's it. And I do, I, I always give them two small cards in case they lose one. And I also give them a big card. Let me show you the large card that I have. Could you have one of the large cards out of there for me, please? It's one in there that is. And then here's my large card that I give them. I already laminated this. And two of these will fit on this sheet. I just do them like this side by side. And two of them. So yeah. So with mine, they get one of these large ones. 
and they get two of these. So this is how I laminate my cards. So to give it a little stability and yeah, in case they spill something on, they could just wipe it off. So thank you for watching. I will be back with another video. Please hit the bell so you'll get notified when I come back. And remember to subscribe and like. And also visit, I have a page on, a group on Facebook. It's called Silhouette Cami Crafting. So go join that um, and share some of your crafting that you're doing. And I will also post videos on there. I'm going to try to post one. I'm going to make a video every Wednesday. So, yeah. Thank you. And everyone, as I always say, love all, hate no one.